So one of the best things I ever did is make this little picture jig. And I can't take credit for this. I saw it from somebody else, but it's just a scrap piece of one by two with a small finishing nail, like a paneling nail, because that's what I hang a lot of artwork with. It makes a really small hole. It's white. A lot of times people don't even know it's there. Um, and it barely sticks through on the backside and it's got a little bit of a head on the nail. And here's why, because when I am at a property at 945 at night after the kiddos are in bed, trying to hang pictures myself, this is the coolest thing because I can see where my artwork goes. And then as soon as I like it, all I do is literally push on this against the wall and it makes just an itty bitty indentation. It doesn't go all the way through the wall. So if it's in the wrong spot, you'd never see it, but it makes just enough of an indentation where I can take the picture off, take it down, get my nail and my hammer and put it in. And it's right where I want it. It's awesome. And let me show you. So, and yes, I'm going to put this in my mouth. No, that is not the best idea, but I have two pieces of art that I want to go right about this towel bar, right? And I'm going to offset them, but this is really handy. Also, if you're going to do them side by side and you don't want to have to like measure or anything else. And yeah, I know the back paper on this is like toast, but they're for staging. Who cares? No one sees back. So, and it's great if you want to hang them side by side and I'll show you why. I'm going to offset them, but for the first one, it doesn't really matter. Not in this case, like I'm not, you know, centering off of something else in the room or anything like that. I kind of want this one a bit higher. I already checked and held them both up. I kind of liked where they looked. So I pulled the front and the sides of my jig and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. I kind of like where that's at, all right? And I literally push in the wall and I hear a little pop, kind of like you were punching through paper because that's all you're doing. So now I can take this off. Ta-da! My little bitty nail holes right there that y'all can't even see. And now I know exactly where this picture is going to go. And I don't have to worry about like, oh, is my hanger higher? Is my hanger lower? Anything like that. Ta-da! Super cool, right? The other cool thing about this is what it does is it takes into account if you have a wire on the back. Maybe you have seven pictures you're gonna hang. Like my husband and I just did this for a gallery wall, honestly, because we had 16 or 18 frames we were gonna hang and many of them were wired. And the wires weren't all the same length. Some of the wires were an inch off of the frame top. Some of them were six inches off the frame top. So then it totally takes into account all of that play and all of that difference because all you're doing is checking to see where you want the finished frame and this tells you where to make the hole for everything to be right based on the type of hanger that is on your picture. So now we're going to do the other one and I'm going to show you why this is so awesome and I have more finishing nails in my pocket. Go to my mouth. Sorry about that. But so And these only have one mount in the back, so I don't have to worry about them being level because I'm not doing like one on each side. But I want this one to be a little bit lower. Let me put this in my back pocket. So, and y'all can see I already have my nice fluffy towel fold. If you want to see the video on how to do that, then check out down below. I probably should have shot this horizontally instead of vertically, so I'm sorry about that. But. I want to do this picture offset like this. Let's say I wanted it to be level. If I had a level, I would hang a level right across these two pictures. But if I'm going to eyeball stuff, then I can get it just right based on holding it up here, make sure that the tops of my frames are right where I want them to be. Then all I have to do is punch. I don't have to worry about like, oh, I measure down from the ceiling. Oh, my ceiling is crooked. Oh, I measure up from the floor. Oh my gosh, that's a long way. I'm off by a sixteenth of an inch. They're right here. I can do straight across. I punch it. My hole's up. We're good. In this case, I want to be offset a little bit just because this is a 10 foot ceiling in a massive bathroom with a lot of white walls. So I'm going to offset it just a touch. And I, you know what? I like it right there. So I push in. I hear my little bit of pop. I got my little bitty nail hole. I'm going to set down my jig. This is also why I don't like to work with framed pictures with glass as much. And of course I hit a stop. So I'm going to need to get a smaller nail because 
I brought longer ones. This is the first dud I've hit out of like 18 pictures in this house. <laughs> but you can see, even with my nail that's too long, it's right where I want it. This, like literally garbage from my garage. Best thing ever for hanging pictures. It stays in my little staging toolkit. Awesome for wires, awesome for straps on the side, on the tops, on the little metal straps. If you've got hangers on the side, it's nice if you mark, you know, if you get it where you want it, you get one in and then you use this for the second side. So you can see that your picture's level and then punch the back so you know exactly where the second hanger goes. You know, put a little level on the top of the frame, get it where you want it, punch it, and you have a lot less measuring to do and you don't have to worry about the holes being level or holding up something and setting the level on that. Like, it's just totally worth it. Go try it. It's the best thing I ever did. I can't believe I made it this long. So. Hopefully that helps. If you're liking this video, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I know I'm vertical instead of horizontal. I don't know where that logo is going to end up when we actually get this posted. Um, if this was helpful and you're like, holy crap, that is such a good idea. Hit the like button down below. That'll help somebody else find it and it will save them tons of time and frustration too. So thanks so much for the time. If you're liking my videos and like how I do this and want to interview me to help you buy or sell in Denver Metro, you can pick a time right off my calendar down below. So thanks so much and y'all have a good one.